Hi everyone, Slap the Knee Face Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a new episode of Let's Argue, where I take your hot takes, your unpopular opinions, your tough questions, all that stuff, but I asked you a question for this episode over Twitter. I asked you, uh, what's the worst band name, and why? And here's what you said. There is no way to say this band's name without feeling an immediate sense of cringe and shame. Hey, what are you listening to? The Cherry Poppin' Daddies. Awful. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of roll off the tongue like vomit. Pretty immediately after the 90s, the swing revival uh, aged pretty horribly. And what's aged even worse than is like the names of the bands and the songs, especially the Cherry Pop and Daddies, who in like the age of Me Too, that name just uh, just just has a real creeper vibe to it. You're out here popping cherries and you're calling yourself a daddy, like kind of gross. The Smashing Pumpkins, great music, but just a really lame name. Imagine announcing their presence on stage. Here comes ACDC. Here comes Led Zeppelin. Here comes the Smashing Pumpkins. You know, there is something personally that bugs me about the Smashing Pumpkins name, and it's not that I think it sounds super lame or anything. I'm just trying to envision what exactly it is. I feel like it would be one thing if the band's name were simply Smashing Pumpkins, but their name is The Smashing Pumpkins, which, what is a Smashing Pumpkin? You know, they're not describing sort of like, you know, uh, an action there by calling it The Smashing Pumpkins. Do they mean smashing in like, you know, the English sense? Like, oh, cheerio, these pumpkins are quite smashing. Is that what they mean when they say? Uh, the Smashing Pumpkins? Like, it, I, I just can't imagine. Uh, is, is it pumpkins that smash themselves? The Smashing? Are they pumpkins that are smashing? And if they are, what the, what the fuck are they smashing? The Butthole Surfers. Don't need to get into why. I mean, I guess, but it does kind of make you think, like, what does it mean to really surf a butthole? <laughs> uh, you know, in an age of eating ass, it's, it's probably, uh... A pretty tame name in the grander scheme of things anyway. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. I didn't realize the band was actually good until I listened to their music. I assumed that they were just bad solely because their name sounds really stupid. I feel like with a name like that, you do run the risk of exactly that. However, your name is so unique uh, that you're only gonna ever hear it once and remember it forever. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, are you kidding me? And honestly, like, when you cut it down to King Gizzard, I, I think it's kinda cool. You know, it's just when you bring in the, the Lizard Wizard stuff. <laughs> That's when it gets kind of ridiculous. However, you know, when you listen to the band's music, even some of their best stuff, it's pretty clear they don't take themselves too seriously. In many ways, it's an epic name, but it's also a tongue-in-cheek name, which I think fits the band's personality pretty well. Chick, 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 they have a name that is literally impossible to look up on Google or rate your music unless you know the ambiguous phonetic pronunciation, which I could get if they were trying to do a witch house, nobody can find your music thing, but this is a decently commercial dance punk disco band. Yeah. You know, honestly, I wonder how many potential listeners the band has foregone over the years by sticking to that goddamn name. But you know what? There was just like a lot of weird indie pop and rock and dance acts during that time that had super dumb, quirky, difficult to Google names. And the scene was so small and so insular that it didn't really matter all that much how Googleable you were because things weren't so saturated on the internet in those days. And not everything in terms of music promotion was entirely internet based. But uh, yeah, you know, in, in, in 2021, it just seems to make less and less sense. Black Midi, why would you name your noise rock band after a goofy internet meme slash music trend? It deterred me from checking them out for too long. Why wouldn't you? I hope that at least at some point in the future they actually incorporate <laughs> some Black Midi into their music or like actually compose some Black Midi. Hootie and the Blowfish, gotta be up there. Darius Rucker complained about people calling him Hootie or asking which member is Hootie. 
<laughs> but it's their own fault. Either own the name and become Hootie or just call yourselves the Blowfish. God, it's so funny to read that, even though it's pretty obvious that you would have people with them being as commercially successful as they are, wondering uh, who is Hootie, and if there is a Hootie, it's gotta be the singer, it's not the drummer. Why would the drummer be Hootie? But, you know, as a child of the 90s, this is sort of reflected of a lot of uh, the quirk and irony humor of that day, and there were quite a few bands out there that would purposefully pick dumb names that were supposed to be plays on, you know, the old trope of so-and-so and the so-and-sos. And yeah, it was just a really dumb fad trend that aged horribly, aged terribly, and uh, sounds as silly as what they were trying to make fun of, if not sillier. Cry Wank, great band, but every time I bring them up around people, I have to spend a minute explaining, no, they're actually really good, and also not metal or anything like that, guys, please, but they can never get over the name. I feel like Cry Wank is a great name, because for the most part, uh, not everybody is gonna be into the music of Cry Wank, that is a very specific niche of music listener, in my opinion. And honestly, when you listen to it, it does kind of sound like a cry wank. It sounds like something that would have come out of a cry wank or that you would cry wank to. Uh, that's what it sounds like to me. I think it's accurate. What in the hell is Limp Biscuit? Uh, what makes a biscuit limp? Um, look, I'm sorry to inform you, but a uh, limp biscuit or a soggy biscuit, actually spelling out biscuit, not the uh, biscuit, uh, you know, a version of the name and everything. It's like a weird, obscure masturbation game that I don't even want to describe and get into because, uh, yeah, that that is, that is the storied history of the Limp Biscuit name. It's gross and weird and, uh, Let's move on. Bands named after geographic locations, Boston, Chicago, Kansas, etc., are incredibly lame and uncreative and don't reflect the character of the music at all. Yeah, personally, I've always felt like even if you're from that place, you know, look, you're, you're just one motherfucker from that place. And if you're a band, you're like four motherfuckers from that place. And there's a lot of people in that place, especially if it's a city. And if that's the case, like, I mean, geez, come on. Like, how how is your band, even if you become insanely popular, supposed to represent that whole city, everything going on in that one city or place or country, because there's some bands named after countries or, you know, uh, uh, larger geographic areas. Like, geez, uh, I don't know. It just, it just seems like a, a really, really, really pompous. You have to really think highly of yourself to be like, we're the hottest, latest, amazing EDM trap festival dominating electronic music duo, the Southern Hemisphere. Acidic yeah, version of liquid, liquid explosion here. generated by mass amounts, amounts of filthy and yeah, 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 sadistic yeah, septic yeah, syphilic inside the infected maggot infested. I don't even want to imagine what this band's music is. Is it gore grind? I was going to look it up, but I literally don't even want to punch this band's name into a search engine, and that's uh, really, really all there is to it. The psychedelic porn crumpets gotta be. I mean, I can't, uh, you know, hate it too much because again, I was just justifying King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard a few minutes ago, and I mean, that's equally ridiculous. I mean, sure, it doesn't have porn in the name, but you know, there is a Lizard Wizard there, and I mean, that kind of sounds like something you'd see in a porn. Cunning linguists. They're actually real good, but the name made it impossible for me to check them out for a very long time. You know, it made me want to check them out right away, but I will say, the one thing I don't like about their name is I hate spelling it. Anthony, it's obviously Hoobastank. How can you not know this? It's meaningless. It's got the word stank in it. Hooba. Sounds like a name someone emerging from the haze of a bong hit of angel dust, meth, and bath salts would come up with. Hoobastank, I rest my case. I do have to agree, like as far as like horrible band names go, uh, Hoobastank has got to be in the top three. Hoobastank is absolute trash. And look, this is not a comment on their music. There are some Hoobastank songs that are <laughs> quite decent and are, are popular for a reason like 
the reason I watch it tonight. But it really is legitimately a horrendous name, and I feel like it, it gets harder and harder to justify that name to a newer generation of music fans. I mean, uh, I'm happy I'm not really a big Hoobastank fan because if I was, I would have to continually find myself in a position where I'm talking to people who are sort of existing outside of the context of Hoobastank saying, hey, have you heard this band Hoobastank? Uh, and, you know, expecting not to look like a fucking idiot whenever I say it. And look, I'm someone who routinely and willingly recommends King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard on a regular basis. Uh, but yes, I would feel foolish uh, trying to push the music of, of any band, not even specifically this band, but any band uh, that named themselves Hooba Stank. Truly the only thing that would be worse is if some band came up and named themselves Hooba Stank 2. I'm not a perfect person. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of uh, Let's Argue. You guys are the best. Thanks for watching and stuff. Uh, love you, have feelings for you. You're the light of my life, and I hope you uh, enjoy your day. Over here is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, argue forever.